after sea container ship, after tugboat, after every kind of boat you can think of. Jet skis, there wasn't any jet skis, but yeah, just cruising by, causing a large wake, and the boat was going, ming, 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 ming. wake up, Elena, wake up, Elena. Yeah, I've got bags today, but I've just come outside and you know, the sun's coming up, and I think, I think it's all worth the awful sleep some nights to see this in the morning. Balboa Yacht Club, STS Sailing Vessel La Vagabonde, para water taxi, por favor. At the Balboa Yacht Club, water taxis run 24 hours a day for free and we were only a $5 taxi ride from the city centre. So this is where we've been staying for the past week at the Balboa Yacht Club. Marina is up here and Rex is a bit of a legend. Rexy! The water taxi saved me a bit of work too, not having to lift that bloody tender on and off. There's also a laundry mat here, which is super cheap. It's 50 cents a wash and dry. Um, toilet and shower blocks, pretty standard. And a restaurant. Which is awful. It's pretty awful. <laughs> We just got back from the supermarket and as we were unloading all of the stuff, all of the groceries onto a cart, a drunk dude goes, that's my cart. If you want to use it, you got to pay me. Then I was helping Elena do that and some other guy goes, I've got your gas fitting, which you've been after for about a week. So I had to run off. And now Elena is over with the drunk dude on the boat, unloading all of the, <laughs> unloading all of the shopping and I'm thinking I'm going to get in trouble when I get home. Gracias, amigo. I can't money. Pardon? I can't money, money for me. She didn't give you any money? No, no. No dinero? No, no, no. dinero, no dinero, tú. I can't. Okay. A lovely lady called Irma took us for a tour of a city she calls home. Do you mind if I film you? <laughs> I don't know very footage. <laughs> <laughs> so my boyfriend, he's Australian yeah. too. Yes, and he's uh, obsessive with oh, the really? vagabonds. <laughs> <laughs> and he said that I wanna do that. I want, I want the boat, and so he bought the same. Wow. Okay, you are crazy. He have to uh, fix. Yeah. You have to fix. Yeah. You have to do many jobs there, but he it's his project. That, yes, it's his project. That's really cool. <laughs> Basically the city is divided into two parts, one being the old town which is filled with cute little alleyways and has a very rich history. What happened here, Ryan? Well, this altar here, they, um, when the pirates were coming they painted it black so that they didn't know it was gold. <laughs> Henry Morgan and the boys. And there was, there was all tunnels connecting the different churches, so when the pirates would come they'd like pull the lid off the tunnel, jump down underneath and hide in one, and then go from church to church, hiding from... The pirates must have been ridiculous back yeah. then. And the other part of the town is the new town, or the city. We much preferred hanging out in the old town, drinking coffee and catching live music at some of the many cool bars and restaurants. So I became pretty interested in the pirates and the history of Panama and I ended up organising a tour with a guy called Juan. This is my new friend Juan. Oh, welcome to Panama. He's our tour guide for the day. He's going to show us all about Panama City. One of the interesting things that I did learn was that the reason for all of the pirate activity in the area was because so much, 60% of the gold actually came to Panama and then up through to Portobello. The name Portobello is Spanish for beautiful port. Before it was all transported from there via ship to Spain. So insane amounts of gold, lots of angry, violent pirates. <laughs> This trail here was where the gold and silver was taken by mule to and from Panama City and Portobello. It is called the Royal Trail. 
I also learnt that some of the local alcohol was related to the history of the area. I'll start with the Balboa, thanks. Okay. Gracias, amigo. Balboa the Conquistador discovered the South Seas in 1513. He incorrectly named it because he crossed the Panamanian Isthmus from north to south. This was eventually renamed by Magellan as the Pacific. Balboa was well liked and made friends with a benevolent approach to the local Indians until he was beheaded by Pedrarias de Avila, who founded Panama City in 1519. Where are we, Riley? We're at Old Panama Cathedral, so this was the central point of Panama back in the day. That's where we just were up there. In 1572, Sir Francis Drake sacked the town of Nombre de Dios, which is close to Portobello but no longer exists. El Drake, as he was eventually known as, intercepted a mule line close by carrying huge amounts of gold, making him rich and famous. He sailed around the world and sunk the Spanish Armada. There was no way you could come in here. All these canons pointing that way. Across on the other shore, you can see canons at the bottom and higher above pointing that way. There was another fort which was disbanded to construct the canal over at the corner, which had more canons pointing that way. And there is another fort over there with more canons pointing that way. You don't even have to aim. You just shoot and you hit whatever is coming into the bay. So how did Henry Morgan get in here then? He came from behind, from the land. That's why he was able to take especially this fort and then the next one and the next one. Anything else? Uh, yes, I'll try Captain Morgan, thanks. Okay. Thank you very much. <sighs> Captain Morgan, the true pirate thief, buccaneer and privateer. Henry Morgan successfully attacked Portobello in 1668. He later attacked the very beautiful fort of San Lorenzo on his way down to Panama City. I'm here at San Lorenzo Fort and this is where Henry Morgan started his attack down to Panama City. This is where it all started. He sacked the city of Panama in 1671 but was unable to get most of the gold because whilst the pirates were getting completely drunk, the galleon La Santissima Trinidad left port loaded with most of the gold. As you can see, there is a rich nautical history in the area of Panama City. Riley was only able to scratch the surface here, but he really does love those pirates. <laughs> While Riley did his little history tour, I jumped on a bus to the Gamboa Rainforest to check out an animal shelter. These volunteers rescue injured animals from all around the area, some of the animals being sloths, Agoutis. Oh my god! Which are just the weirdest little creatures I've seen in a while. I know what you want. <laughs> Rothschild's porcupines, small crocs, alligators and ant eaters, iguanas. And a few years ago, a local man brought in what he literally thought was an injured kitten. Turns out she's a very rare species of leopard with a wild gene. She's gotten so big now and will soon be moved to another larger shelter out of the country for breeding. That very morning, a tiny baby sloth had just been brought in after it had fallen out of a tree. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Female hormones raging. Oh my gosh. Is that even real? What are we doing, babe? Ah, just filling up. Filling up with fuel. For the, uh, about a billion litres of fuel for the Galapagos trip. So that we can get Dad to Tahiti in time. <laughs> Draw fire from your throat. We just we lost one of our diesel flingers. Muchas gracias. You're the man. Thank you. Okay, this is Rex in Carolina in the 
office of the marina and they're total legends. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us guys, we'll be back one day. Yep, and welcome. Thank you, thank you. This is your home. Yes, yes. it feels like home. <laughs> Ciao, ciao! Bye! ciao. <laughs> we got lost in the moment Or was it something I said? And we're off! Can't get back to what you told her No mucho window. Vento. Yeah, uh, well, I don't even think it'll be that at the moment, but we're just, we're still in the Panama Canal channel, so we're gonna head in between these little markers that you can see all the way back to the bridge, and then we'll be heading south, and then over there is Galapagos, Galapagos. We've had the spinnaker up for a few hours and then we jibed and now there's this strange noise coming. So I've got a hammer. We've never heard it before and we cannot find where it's coming from. I think it's where the shackle goes around. There's a ring like this up further and I've got a shackle around that and then a block. So I think there's a quite a bit of load on it and as it moves, it goes like kunk, 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 kunk around, around here. It's a very annoying sound. Shocking, isn't it? It's all right though, hey? It's not gonna cause, like, it's not gonna break or cause damage. Nah, it won't break. Turn on the engine and we're going to motor for a few hours. Yeah, like not a breath. Ready? One thing we've just cottoned onto is podcasts. If you haven't already done so, I highly recommend downloading some podcasts. Uh, especially if you're out at sea and you don't have a large crew, it sort of makes you feel less alone having another voice talking to you and you're learning while you're out at sea, which is really cool. If I were making a stupidity scale, I would make the high scores be, be, be lots of stupidity, right? Like, let's go all the way. You're and, and doing the ironing for um, me, babe. Oh, I am. Is, and, and exactly thinking about, now you're exercising and learning. Or thinking about things learning. that typically, you know, are acquired in, like, late college what do you think about that? school curriculum. You know, like, probabilities yes. and things, you know, and things oh. like that, right? You know, so I'm not sure he's going to succeed there, but I think conceptually Maybe he's Maybe you right should do one thing at a time. That, you know, you can imagine all the geniuses, <laughs> you know, at Lehman Brothers. Stay tuned for our five day sail to the Galapagos. We are greeted by countless marine life. We have a pirate scare and we prepare La Vaga for her arrival to the Galapagos whilst at sea, which we forgot to do before leaving. Hello everybody. La Vagabond has just signed up to Twitter. So if you guys think you might be interested in reading some of Riley's uh, Twitter updates, then the link is in the description below. Thank you for watching guys. <laughs>